All right, let's do our call of the day. It's Jeffries today downgrading Raytheon to hold from buy. They cite concerns about profitability and free cash flow. Jimmy, this is yours. We talked defense the other day. I think it was as related to Lockheed Martin more than mm -hmm. Raytheon. Mm -hmm. um, what do you make of this call, though? I, make of this call. Let me start by saying I really do still like the stock a lot. I'm not selling a share. I understand what the analyst is saying. At the last earnings call, management said they're going to reorganize the various subsectors of the business to really focus on improving defense margins. And what the analyst, I mean, he's got a few things in here, but what he's really focused in on is he's not sure that a reorg like that is going to work. And that is a legitimate opinion that he can have. To me, the reorg makes a lot of sense because they're streamlining their businesses. What used to be in two businesses, going into one, and you cut costs when you do that. The demand for defense, uh, uh, Raytheon's defense products is unfortunately staying high. The commercial aerospace business, Pratt & Whitney, Whitney Engines, as fast as they can produce those engines, Airbus and Boeing wants them. So the upshot of this is I think the analyst is, for this is one of those rare times that hold means hold the stock. I know it's a downgrade from buy, Scott, but I really think he's, he's, he might be being a little bit too cute in the short term. Long term, it seems clear he likes this I stock. Mean, I I hear all that what you're saying and the unfortunate reality of the the world that we live in and and all of that which you always you know talk about um raytheon's up two percent year to date the ita is up four percent defense spending not going away mm -hmm. we know that but that doesn't necessarily mean that these stocks are going straight up to the right no matter how many fair, times you point. say it, it's absolutely not a criticizing fair you, but no, 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 it's, a fair it's not necessarily a one-to-one -one correlation. Defense spending going up, so these stocks are just going to continue to go up. Uh, another way of saying what you're saying is it could be priced into the stock already. I mean, it could be, right? And, and you know, at 20 times forward earnings, or actually I think it's about 17 times forward earnings, that, that's not a crazy thing to say, but I think, I think the multiple is forgiving enough. This is a stock that goes through fits and starts, by the way. I mean, the last uh, three years, it's up 20% on average each year. That's P up 15 percent. So you got to go through these periods where it's kind of dull. Um, but I don't think this is a stock at 102 that you're looking at going below 95. Now, famous last words. And I know you're it's expensive. I know right? it's 20, 20 and a half times forward P.E. OK. Yeah, it's, a, it's a little pricey. It's a little pricey. Sorry, I thought it was 17. Listen, I know your memory is like an elephant and it's like a steel trap, so I don't think this is going below 95. Could it go from 102 to 95? Sure, it could. I'm not going to sell in anticipation of that because I think over the next year and two years, it will be meaningfully higher. Yeah. Uh, the P, okay. All right. Uh, Josh, what about you? I mean, you do have the ITA and you did weigh in the other day as well. Um, do you think that a lot of the good news, as Jim was, you know, suggesting I was alluding to, is already in these names, and I need mean, good news in quotes for obvious reasons. Yeah, it's not good news. It's, ter no, it's yeah, terrible yeah, yeah, news, and unfortunately, un un unfortunately, things do not seem to be uh, making any kind of progress or any kind of turn anytime soon. You see uh, Janet Yellen uh, trying to do with China now in her rhetoric the same thing that was attempted with Putin 15 years ago. It's just this is not the way the world is going. So um, it's unfortunate. Pull up a five-year chart of the ITA. You can see that these stocks right before the pandemic, February of 2020, were on the verge of really breaking out. The pandemic happened. Uh, Boeing is a big weight in this in this ETF. They just they destroyed it. And it spent the last three, three years and change clawing its way back. It is right back at that breakout level from February 2020. And I hate to say it, but I think she's going through. All right.